ladies and gentlemen boys and girls welcome back to western racing in today's video we are going to be taking a look at the first installment the first ever collection in the hot wheels silver label series it is the hot wagons now for those of you who don't know what the silver label series is because this has actually been a little bit of a point of contention recently that people don't know what these are the Silver Label series, as you can clearly see, marked with a silver label, is a collection series by Hot Wheels. They are the in-betweens of mainline cars and premium cars. So they're like, it's like a, a high quality mainline or a low quality premium. That's what they are. They're the middle, the middle ground. Hence why, if you know, if you know, you know, normal mainlines have the, the classic Hot Wheels logo. Premiums have a gold Hot Wheels logo. So obviously the middle is going to be the silver Hot Wheels logo. That's what these are. But what is the Silver Label series? Because obviously a series like the Hot Wagons, which is what we're looking at today, it's kind of like almost a Walmart thematic series in a way, isn't it? That's because it is. The Silver Label series is officially replacing the Walmart thematic series. It is the replacement series is what it is. So for those of you who may remember, last week we looked at the Forza cars, which were part of the thematic series. This is the 2024 Walmart thematic series, essentially. And from this point forward, they're going to be known as the Silver Label Collection. And the first collection that they ever did as a part of this new series is the Hot Wagons. So like I said, that's what we're going to look at. Now, why am I telling you all of this? The reason why I'm telling you all of this is because if you may remember when we looked at cars like the Forza cars, or more specifically, there's two that really come to mind as videos that got, got me riled up because of this exact problem. It was the uh, JDM or JDM Classics, I think was the one uh, Walmart thematic series we looked at. And the other one was the Warner Brothers 100th Anniversary Collection. My biggest complaints in those videos was that for the price tag that they were putting on the cars, the cars did not have enough detail on them. It was like they were giving us a normal mainline car for a jacked up price. Almost like Hot Wheels heard what I said, the Silver Label series actually did everything that I asked for by literally doing exactly that. They increased the detail on the cars for the same price tag that you would normally pay, I think it might be a little bit more expensive, we're getting brand new rims, we're getting brand new paint schemes, series. They literally took my advice. They probably didn't hear me say it, but they probably heard a bunch of people say it. They literally took exactly what I was saying and did exactly that. And if anybody at Mattel is watching, thank you. This is awesome. I could not, I cannot express how happy I am about this. The Silver Label series, two thumbs up. I'm so hyped. Now, like the Walmart thematic series, there's a lot of Silver Label series IPs that I am not a fan of. This first series we're going to look at today is called the Hot Wagons. So like I said, this was the first ever series that they did. I remember getting these, I think, early 2023 is when I found them. It's a good set. However, the way that it's set up is they actually get worse as they go. I'm not going to lie to you guys. They actually get worse as they go down the series. But yeah, this will be the first set that we look at. And the first one we're going to look at is the Chevelle SS over here. So let's get that out of the way. Um, it's going to, like I said, it's, this is five cars. Like I said, it's like a thematic series. There's the theme. Each theme has its own custom logo though, which I'm a huge fan of. Cause that's going to make making thumbnails really easy for me. As you can see, there's the hot wagons logo. And as you can see, custom card art, it's just like a thematic series. The only difference is, is it now has the silver label and the cars feature a lot more detail, like custom rims, fully painted front ends and fully painted back ends. How awesome is that? Literally everything I asked for. This is Christmas came early. Christmas came three months early. Well, technically Christmas came exactly when it did because I found these in late 2023, right around December. So Christmas came and it delivered. Let's put it that way. Um, so yeah, like usual, I am going to use a knife to cut these out of the package because I do not want to damage the card uh, more than, oops, that's what was wrong with the camera. There we go. I am going to use a knife to cut these out of the package because I don't want to, you know, make them worse than they already are. I do love the card art on these a lot. And uh, yeah, let's get it started off here. We have the 1964 Chevy Nova Wagon. My light is being really goofy today. I don't know what that's all about. I noticed that problem in the last video I recorded today and uh, I didn't fix it. Is that better? Not really. Eh, it works. All right, here we go. First one, let's get her out of the package. All right, I have pulled it out of the package, but I haven't looked at it yet. Here we go. 
man, oh man. Like I said, Hot Wheels, you guys delivered with the Silver Label series. Look at that. That is so good. They are. They're like high-end mainline cars is what they are. I am a fan. I am a huge fan. I am so, so hyped for the new Silver Label series, man. Like, look at this. This is so good. All right, so we have got an emerald green body. Oh my God, it's metal. That is a metal. That's why this felt so heavy. It's a metal base. Oh my God, dude, this is awesome. These are like, oh my God, I man, holy crap. So yeah, we got an emerald body, a metal base with black tires, silver rims. Again, a new rim that I have never seen before in my entire life. I don't collect premiums, by the way. Not yet, anyways. Sneak peek for 2025. Um, and then we've got a tinted window insert there, which looks pretty cool. A little bit of hair on there. I don't know what that's all about. Never mind, that's a crack in the window. All right, <laughs> we got green stripes down the side, this white stripe as well, Hot Wheels logo. On this side, it is the exact same thing, but mirrored. Really cool. I love this old family town wagon. I love this a lot. This is fun. I like wagons in general. Wagons are just fun. Uh, and then on the front, as you can see, we have got uh, headlights and blinkers, which are printed in. Again, love that. Love that, love that, love that, love that. I am so hyped about that. On the hood, we have racing stripes in white. And then on the top, we have a fully white canopy, which looks super cool. And then on the back, you've got the handle for the back end, some black or some gray detailing, and then the backup lights and tail lights. So there you go, everybody. That right there is the Chevy Nova wagon, the non-gasser variation. We looked at the gasser variation last week, so that's pretty cool. But yeah, look at that. That is sick. I am so I am so ungodly hyped for the rest of this video now, or you don't even know. I'm hyped for all of the Silver Series cars now. This is awesome. They're so good. There is one here that I think has a plastic base on it, though, so that's interesting. Um, I might be wrong, though. It might just be a painted metal base. We'll see. All right, number two of five is a car that I didn't even know existed, and this thing is awesome. Number two of five is the custom 1966 GTO wagon, Pontiac GTO wagon. Like I said, I had no idea this was even a thing that existed and I I'm here for it, it looks awesome. All right, let's cut her out of the package. All righty, here we go. Oh my God, look at that. Just, ju I want you to look at it, just look at it. Man, oh man. Here I am, you know, raving about a multi-million dollar company like I always do, but uh, this, is, this is sick. Like I said, I gotta give Hot Wheels the W here. They really, the Silver Label series right off the bat is already impressive. Like I am so hooked. Got a matte black body with a uh, metal chassis, black tires with chrome rims, and then we have a uh, tinted window insert, red interior. There's a dog. Look, look, there's a dog in the back. There's a little pupper in the back. Oh my God. I've seen them do this before with a couple different castings. Like I think pretty sure the Volvo drift wagon has dogs in the back of it i think i don't don't quote me on that actually i might have the volvo drift wagon sitting behind me we're about to confirm this i might be right about this yep right here yep it does look there's dogs in the back of this one too yeah this video will be coming out next month if you want to uh uh if you want to drop a subscription so you don't miss the slammed series that video will be out next month so get hyped why don't you um but yeah, there's a couple of castings I've seen them do where there's dogs in the back. I think Matchbox has one. I think it's called Rumble Raider is the name of it. It has a dog in the back. But uh, yeah, pretty fun. I like that a lot, actually. Red taillights, GTO on the license plate there. That G The license plate is metal. Look at that. GTO written right there. Pretty cool. On the side panels, all sorts of cool stuff here. Then you've got the classic Pontiac GTO front end which looks sick. I love that so much. Look at that front end. That is so beautiful with the stacked headlights. Can't get over that. All of the little white detail on the top and the stripes look super duper good. You got the nose scoop there, which is pretty fun as well. All around just an amazing car. And uh, yeah, there you go. The custom 1966 GTO. Is it custom? Yep, custom 1966 GTO wagon. These probably don't actually exist, do they? That's probably why it's a custom, is that it's a, it's a modified G, Pontiac GTO into a wagon. Either way, I would drive it. It looks awesome. I probably wouldn't drive it because it'd be like driving a boat on the land, but it'd still be cool. I'd still feel hip. 
no one says that anymore. <laughs> All right, next up, we got a casting that I also really, really like. So we're really getting into it. You know, like I said, I love wagons in general. I just think wagons are fun. We just hit the Nova. The Nova's sick. I love the Nova. The GTO is fantastic. Here's another wagon that I actually really, really like. It is the Datsun Bluebird Wagon 510. Um, yeah, I, I'm a huge fan of Bluebird Wagon. Actually, I'm just, I like Datsuns in general, honestly. Datsun, like the pickup trucks and little wagons. I just like Datsuns. I think they're fun. Anyways, let's rip her out of the package. All righty, here we go. Here's the Bluebird Wagon. Um... Okay, that doesn't say Hot Wheels. Okay, so I've gotten to a point here on my YouTube channel where I can, I can, if I saw the words Hot Wheels written in Japanese, I can actually see, I can tell that's what it is. Uh, this, I don't think, says Hot Wheels. If I'm not mistaken, that does not say Hot Wheels. Then again, this is probably one of those situations where I'm going to be like, or someone's going to correct me and it's going to be like, oh, it did say Hot Wheels. But yeah, pretty fun. Uh, what I do like, though, this does give me flashbacks all the time to this. One of the funniest things the Hot Wheels has ever done is they wrote the word Hot Wheels on the side of the Raisin Express treasure hunt from 2023, wrote the word Hot Wheels in Japanese on the one side of it, and then when you flip it, it was mirrored. So instead of having it say Hot Wheels on both sides, it said Hot Wheels, and then it said Hot Wheels backwards on the other side. Weirdest mistake I've ever seen a car company make. It was so funny when I noticed that for the first time. It was hilarious. But uh, yeah, so we got this cool tapioca colored body, which is kind of fun. It's almost like a yellowish, not really almost a yellow, but it's kind of getting towards the yellow on my end. Uh, is this metal? Nah, it is. It's metal. This is black metal. It's no, is it really? I guess it is. That's sick. That is fantastic. It is. I, I, that's crazy. These are metal. That means this Audi over here is also probably a metal base. That's fantastic. I, I love that so much. Yeah, this is, like I said, I, I cannot stop, like, fangirling over this right now. These cars are so high quality. And to think I'm going to be thinking, uh, to think I'm going to be collecting premiums next year as well for this YouTube channel. I, I'm not, not going to know what to do with myself. I'm going to get a good looking car in the premium line and I'm going to lose my marbles on camera. It's going to be insane. But yeah, editor, whatever that says, can you translate it to the top of the screen real quick? Thank you. We got Yokohama right here with some racing stripes, reflectors, all sorts of cool stuff here and there. The back end has the tail lights. I'm pretty sure that says Dotson right there. The reverse lights as well. Then on the front end, we have a fully printed grill. Look at that. I want you to look at it. That is awesome with the headlights and everything. The stripes right there. And then on the back, we've already looked at the back, sorry. Got the mirrors. I love the gold rims as well. And then here's the bottom for those of you who care. That is the Datsun 510 Bluebird Wagon. What a beautiful car. Honestly, what a beautiful car. I love it. All right. Let's move on to the next one here. Next up, we have the Volvo 850 Estate. Um, I don't really have any remarks on this one. Let's open her up, shall we? All righty. I keep forgetting to zoom the camera in beforehand. Here we go. Here is the Volvo uh, Estate here. Oh, is this a drift vehicle? Or, I feel like this can be... I feel like this is a drift vehicle. It almost looks like a rally car. Maybe it is a rally car. I don't know. I've, I've never really seen people use wagons in rally racing before. Then again, I don't really do watch much rally racing. I kind of just see clips from Red Bull every now and again because it's Red Bull. Why wouldn't you watch their clips? They always do the coolest crap ever. Um, so we've got a baby blue body, a white... Again, metal, white metal chassis, black tires, dark gray rims, and a smoked window insert. I, I'm just going to call them smoked window inserts from now on. Like, honestly, if you come to this channel, just know I don't call them tinted. I call them smoked because I don't know why. I just accidentally did it once and it's stuck ever since. So we got Volvo written on the side 24 for 2024. If I had to take a guess, we got reflectors, Bilstein Michelin on the side there. I think, oh yeah, Bilstein and Michelin. It's their colors. Both of those companies have the same colors, I'm pretty sure. So that's fun. I like that a lot, actually. Side panel here. That is not painted. That little black stripe right there is not painted. That is the plastic insert on the inside. That's cool. I didn't notice that originally. That's fun. Front end, you got the Volvo logo, Volvo emblem right there with the headlights, which look pretty good. 24 on the hood, Volvo logo on the hood as well, which looks super duper cool. Volvo, the man's car wagon. Why is their symbol the male symbol? I'm not, I'm not crazy, right? Like, why? I wonder what that's all about. I'm going to Google that after that. That's interesting. I never, I didn't know that. Uh, and then on the back end, we have, uh, what does that say? Volvo 
850T5R, I think is what that says on the back end there. And then of course you got all the lights and stuff. The only problem is, is that when you have this much paint on here, as you can see, chipping does happen, but that's all right, that's okay. It still looks good. So yeah, there you go. That is the Volvo Estate, I guess a drift wagon. I think it's a drift wagon. Actually, I keep saying drift wagon, but the, every time I say drift wagon inside my mind, I'm just like, it's a rally car, it's a rally car. I don't know. I think it, I'm going to go with rally car. I, it just feels safer to say it's a rally car, I guess. All right. Final car for today's video, number 505, is honestly my least favorite car in this entire set, if I'm being honest. The 2017 Audi RS6 Avant, or Avant. I, I call them Avants just because, I don't know, I'm American, I guess. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know. I'm not a fan of this. Just I'm not a fan of the modern day wagon. The molder day wagons with the, the cubes, the cubes on wheels. I am a much bigger fan of those. But uh, yeah, let's open her up. All right, forgot to zoom in again. Here we go. Audi RS Avon. Oh my God, look at that front end. All that painted detail looks so good. Got a red body, a black metal chassis. Black tires with these really funky looking silver rims. You see in this, look at that. That is such a weird rim design. And then we got a almost completely black window insert. Uh, on the side, it does say Quattro, Audi RS6 Avant. It says Quattro on the side. Fascinating, because <laughs> I'm pretty sure, again, I don't know this, because I don't like follow like Audis, Volvos, I don't really follow any of that. Aren't Avants and Quattros two completely different vehicles, or are they a type of the same vehicle? Again, let me know in the comments, because I don't know this stuff. Please inform me, I'm very interested. Because to my knowledge, the Audi Quattro and the Audi Avant are two completely different vehicles. So the fact that this says Quattro on it is like that, uh, it's like that, uh, oh, what was it? It's like, I, I was going to buy a Kaido House car recently. It was a Kaido House off-road Datsun Bluebird wagon and it had Nissan stickers all over it. And I'm sitting there thinking, why? Why, why Nissan stickers? That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> It's kind of the same situation. I'm pretty sure Quattro and Avant are not the same thing. But again, let me know. I don't know. I do like this really interesting, almost like uh, cube cubist uh, lightning bolt kind of design. I think that's kind of fun. Quattro, Audi logo on the front, RS6 on the front, and you got the headlights. Let's see what the back end looks like. Ooh, license plate. Any Easter eggs? RS6 Avant. Yeah, it just legit says RS6 Avant on the license plate. Look at that. Audi logo, you got all the other details there with the tail lights and stuff. Pretty fun car to end it on there. Like I said, probably my least favorite one of the set, but like the amount of detail on this, I think saves it a lot. Like it really helps to save this car. So there you go. Going in reverse order, we had the Audi RS6 Avant. We had the Volvo, uh, Volvo, what was that? The Volvo, oh, the estate wagon, that's what it was. The Datsun Bluebird wagon the custom GTO wagon and of course the Chevy Nova wagon so there you go everybody that's the full set of hot wagons for today's video um I gotta say what a great start to the the silver label series this is the first set of cars for the silver label series what a fantastic start like all of these look chef's kiss perfection they look so good I love it I love it I love it I love it and like I said this thing I might put this thing on display in my window or something. I freaking love that GTO wagon. That thing looks awesome. So cool. So, so cool. And it's got a dog in the back. Like it couldn't have gotten better and then it did get better somehow. Like it's crazy. But yeah, that's all I got for today's video. I hope you all enjoy. If you didn't, I'm sorry. I, I apologize. There might be content on my channel you're interested in if you're not interested in this. If not, hey, nothing's perfect in the world of YouTube. There are plenty of channels for everybody. You know, I always try to say, I always try to make generalized videos. I don't want to focus towards kids or focus towards adults. I would rather be generalized to a generalized audience. I want to make my videos clean enough that a parent can show them to their children. And I also want to make them dirty enough that a parent can watch them, get the information they need while also laugh at a few jokes here and there even if they don't land. <laughs> Most of the time, I feel like people are just laughing at, at me specifically. But anyways, none of that's important. I just thank you guys for watching my videos. We are almost at, uh, we halfway to 700 subscribers from 600, which is crazy because I just got to 600 like, I don't know, a month ago, two months ago. So 
the subscriber count is climbing at an insane rate and I just I am amazed thank you guys so much for that it really means a lot because like I like I always say I never planned on this YouTube channel going anywhere past 100 subscribers honestly and the fact that we're almost to 700 the fact that we're almost to a thousand is shocking to me it really is so thank you guys so much um, I may have been padding for time to get to 20 minutes on this video but uh, yeah if you sat through that little spiel thank you and I will see you all in the next diecast unboxing video thank you and good night